Hello, and welcome back to Korra. Last time we had just been told that we were the special by this giant statue, so let's go figure out what that means. Probably not we're Master Lego Builder, but maybe something similar, who even knows. So we'll just wander through. This is the guy that, uh, killed the kids, right? You gotta give a real good whack with that one since it's pretty dulled down by now. Though still, it should only take a couple blows to get through the bone. Yeah. Well, I'm never talking to you again, or interacting with you if I can get away with that. Because holy shit, you are a psychopath. Music's nice, though. Nice and cheerful. Village Elder. Welcome, welcome, all of you here today. Let's give a round of applause for all of our musical acts today. Hooray, jazz hands, you can't see that, but I did it. I want to thank all of you for joining us in this year's Spirit Festival. 3,000 years ago, a group of nomads scoured these lands in search of fresh water when they stumbled upon the remains of an ancient temple. Built deep into the mountainside, the voices of the gods long past still rung out through the temple's mighty halls. And so they still stand today, even older and more mysterious than ever before, a reminder of the rich past these valleys are steeped in, that no one knows about, apparently. So today, I... I... I'm, uh... Well, I'm very sorry, but I have to end my presentation a little short. End my presentation short, that's... alright. Please continue with the celebration, or else. Oh, also, Mrs. Andrews has informed me that the last batch of cotton candy is almost gone, so grab some now before it's too late. Coolio. And now she wants to talk to us. I know you may not understand what's just happened to you, but I could sense something from the moment you walked into town. I know you've been contacted by a strange voice. I have indeed, as I also spoke to them many years ago. You've been feeling a little different ever since you spoke with them, haven't you? They spoke of a link between our world and theirs, did they not? Let me show you that link. Press the action button. And that little symbol above us means that we can see ghosts. Do you see those beings floating above the town? Those are the spirits of the ancient civilization whose gods bestowed upon you the power to see into their world. The things of their world are never entirely clear to us, though what I have discovered through nearly a lifetime of peering through the divide is that their universe is made up of many fragments of the past. It's hard to decipher the meaning of these visions, as they are disconnected through time and space. However, I have learned many things about our own world through the perspective of theirs. And now I believe it is your turn to discover these truths as well. There is a temple within these mountains that has existed for all time. All, all time. Wow. That's, that's a long time. It's all of it. I think it would be wise to go, I think so too. And take this, I have a feeling you'll need it. You received the golden idol. You'll know when you have to use it. Okay. Great. So yeah, uh, we can look at the ghosts. They're just sort of floating there. Uh, sometimes they do more interesting things, but not always. And we can only do that when we have that T above our heads. Like when we're over here, if I press space, nothing happens. We can sit on the bench. That's it. Now, we've already talked to everyone here. Do they say anything new? I love watching the birdies. They make me happy. About a year ago, caught one maiden. Yep. Yeah, no, same thing. Alright, so we can just head back to our house then, see if it's done. Hopefully it is. Now, I believe at this point we've gotten two achievements from collecting all the items and talking to the Elder, but I got those already when I was looking at this, so you don't get to see them. More will come, I promise. Hmm... Oh, there's the statues again. 
Here's our house. Trungle, almost finished. Prungle, nearly there. Trungus, you won't be disappointed. What weird names. I mean, most of the people have weird names, I guess, but still, that's like, wow. Weird. Bungle, trungle, and whatever. Flock of birds. Uh, apparently interrupts your progress. I don't entirely understand why that's in there. Uh, atmosphere. Maybe. I would like to be able to move while that is uh, happening, though. Which you can't. It adds to, like, the sort of slow pace and atmosphere of the game. It's very, very calm. But, I don't know. I'm not terribly fond of it. Telepathy. A bunch of people living in a puddle. Interesting. Yeah, so we climb around. Once again, beautiful music. And now, the items come in. You gotta cut away this grass with the uh, murder machete. Hooray. So yeah, like I was saying, slow pace. I don't mind that. Um, I think it doesn't make for terribly good videos, which is a shame, but still a fun game, so I don't really mind. You see that cliff over there? Guess what I'm about to do. It's not climb down it, I'll tell you that much. Who climbs down cliffs? I just jump. Alright. Slowly, slowly making progress. I've got to wonder, like, what kind of grass that is that it's just impossible to walk through. I guess I have seen vegetation that thick, but not terribly frequently. Wow, a lot of deer. Big puddle, too. And again, telepathy. Uh, more people living in tents on puddles. They've got some kind of animal roasting on a spit. I want to say vaguely Native American, but I can't really tell, because they're all, like, 16 pixels. Not tons of space for detail there. Which is okay. I think it's not really supposed to be Earth, quite. Hmm. It's anti-us. Hello, traveler. It's been a long journey, my friend, but I'm almost there. The temple is just ahead, and I'm finally gonna step inside of it. If you didn't know already, this temple is so old, it predates any of the ancient civilizations that used to live here. There's no record of how old it really is, but Seldar some 3,000 years ago were talking about it as if it had been around for ages even back then. Strangest of all, in almost every ancient text from every past civilization, there are eyewitness accounts of spirits and divine interferences. They say that no one in recent times has ever managed to explore the full temple without disappearing. I think it's all a bunch of bull, so I'm going inside to really see what this whole place is all about. Maybe I'll find some ghosts, haha. <laughs> Don't worry, you will. I know. Because I am one. No, not really. At least I don't think so. Man, that would be a twist. You can see ghosts because you are a ghost. It makes sense. Uh, wasn't that the plot of Sixth Sense or something? If only I could sit here with you every day, my love. If only your father wasn't the leader of the rebel army threatening to overthrow my father's kingdom. God, why must we be such star-crossed lovers? doomed to spend the rest of our young lives fighting only to be together. Listen, my sweetest Grendelin, 
If our love cannot blossom freely in this life, perhaps it can in another. Why, what do you mean? Well, did your mother still keep that bottle of rat poison under the kitchen sink? Next to the dishwasher detergent? Man, that is subtle. I suppose so. I don't see why she would have moved it. Alright, great. I've got an idea, so just hear me out on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I... I... Nah. Don't you caught me. Who do you think you are? Some kind of bird? I just realized I have my mouse in the middle of the screen. Good job, me. Hmm. This looks kind of weird. A giant bird statue. That's pretty neat. Bunch of people looking at it, and one guy hammering off its beak, I guess. Hmm. So that's pretty cool, though. Like, you get to see into the past and uh, find like what things actually are. Like, what is this? Clearly some building. Might be part of a temple. I can't tell. I'm guessing we'll figure out, though. Because uh, we can see ghosts. Once again, stop calling at me. Snarky bird. <laughs> hmm. Chop. Chop. And chop. I gotta say, like, I am super impressed that I just tore through a boulder as large as I am with three hits of a pickaxe. Hmm. I guess this is it. Better look around before it gets too dark. Apparently ghosts are afraid of me. Ancient ancestor number one. What the hell is this place? Number two. I don't know. Looks like it. Looks like it's been around for quite a while though. Looks like some kind of temple to me. You know what guys? I think it's actually a franchise. I swear I saw one of these back in that mountain range we went through a couple days ago. Oh, shut up. Yeah, get out of here, Jerry. You're as blind as a bat, anyway. I didn't have the heart to tell you this at the time, but that nude beach we passed through last week, that was just a colony of seals. What? But what about that beautiful girl I talked to for hours that day? Hmm. Sorry, Jerry. Uh... Looks like you're both blind and an idiot. Terrible shame. I think it's a little interesting how like I can just stand behind things and I have no idea where I am. It helps the perspective though, so I do like that. I'm just not used to it really. A uh, bunch of pillars, slightly worn away. Although, since it's been around for literally all of time, apparently, they're doing quite well. Now, the controls here are pretty strange, and I'm not sure how I feel about them. Left and right is normally... Oh, okay. Well, be careful. Left and right is normally move back and forth, but on the stairs and, like, ladders, it's up and down. That makes sense. But the stairs are also, like, press up to go up the stairs instead of sideways to climb them. Hmm. So this is a huge temple. Clearly. We can pray at the statue. Oh, we burned the incense. Okay. Cool. Um... How is that possible? Interesting. Magic. Or, I guess, like, a brazier on the wall? It's not there now, so I'm guessing magic? Which is pretty cool. I'll give him that, like, I wish that priests these days could just summon giant balls of flame. The world of religion would be much more interesting. 
and birds again. Just in time to signify the end of the video. So, we're finally in the temple. Uh, it's not really clear what's happening here though, so next time I think we'll figure that out and see whatever this is. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time on Korok.